Hello, it's Jimmy here at the So I have a Mercedes E-Class here. Needs looking at, so we'll, let's get inside. Okay, so this has got engine management light on. I'm gonna use the Launch UK Euro Tab 3 and we'll do a scan. Okay, so we're just loading up the software here. This is an E220 diesel and it is the newer 2 litre, I believe. Yeah, okay, so this is the newer model engine. It's got the catalysts and DPF down here. Now this is just going to be scanning through all of the different systems here. Okay, so that's done. We have P3005C5. Bit of a different code for a block DPF. The value of the maximum load condition was exceeded. Uh, soot content is not okay. Ambient lighting, tire pressure. Output. Okay, so we're going to ignore all of these. We're going to be just looking at that DPF fault. Um, right, just need to have a quick chat with a customer. I don't know how this car has been driven. Okay, so the customer tells me he drives 80 miles per day in this car and this DPF light came on during one of those journeys. So we don't ha seem to have any other fault apart from a block DPF here, which can be concerning. I do know I've had dozens of inquiries for this exact same model where people are saying they've cleaned the DPF, they've fitted a new DPF, but the car will not regenerate. Um, so even after a new DPF you drive two, two, three hundred miles and the block DPF light comes back on and they noticed that during the regen stage, it does activate a regen, but during the regen stage it only reaches 300 degrees, not the 620 what it would need. Um, so how am I going to figure out if that's what's wrong with this car? I think what I might do is something a bit different here is don't do the clean for now. I might just do a reset of the DPF, take it on a test drive and watch the live data, see if we are able to get this car to regen. If I clean it, it's not going to regen for at least three or 400 miles. So I think I'm going to try and get it to activate a regen now before I do a clean. So I'm going to look at the live data of the diesel particle filter. Coolant temperature is at 88 degrees, so it's not because of the coolant temperature. 106% fill level. Twelve to thirteen HPAs, and if we hold it at sort of three thousand, where are they? Get this, this revs to stay. It's not actually a badly blocked DPF, is it? The tolerances on these newer models is just a lot less than the uh, older ones. So I'm going to do a reset of the DPF and see if we can get, I'm going to try and do a reset at least, see if we can get this to do a regeneration on its own or is it capable of doing a special functions or special procedures. Uh, let's try that one. Regeneration while driving. I don't want to I don't, I don't want to activate a force regen, I want to see is the car able to do its own regen. Teaching process, exhaust system, diesel particle filter here. And we'll do that one. Just give that a little bit of a read. Okay, so that tells me I need to do it as the SCR, which is the diesel particle filter and SCR combined. F2 and continue ok now that's successfully completed now to confirm that I need to go to live data again 
exhaust system, particle filter, and start the engine. And now we should have a fill level of 0%, which we have. Uh, see if we can see the temperature of the particle filter there we have. So, we're going to now take this on a test drive and see if we can get this temperature to reach 600 degrees. Okay, so I've finished a test drive. Now, looking back on the live data, we have 18 on the pressure. Degrees didn't go above 238. Uh, fill level has increased back up to 111%, 7.8 grams. But you can see there we still are only on a uh, total amount of regions. 61 so it hasn't tried to do a regen I've done maybe 20 miles or so um, and unfortunately it hasn't tried to activate one now as far as I can see there's nothing that is inhibiting it from doing a forced regen so the only thing we can either to try and do is to drive it but that could take hours uh, and realistically you know we don't want to just be driving up and down for hours um, next thing I can do here is try and just clean the DPF and maybe after it's been cleaned um, try and activate a force regen while I'm driving and then see if the temperature would reach during a forced, forced regen and so I'm just going to go back on here and confirm that there's nothing that's inhibiting it from doing a, its own self regeneration now that would be going back here to the codes and reading them so if there's something on here like a faulty glow plug EGR valve or uh, boost coloration code that would stop it from activating the regen then you'd say okay that's why the regen is inhibited but now as we can see there as I expected there's nothing there because we have no fault light on the car okay now here's the next bit check for a software update now here's the bit that could inhibit the DPF regen the customer has told me that the car had an blue fault and he's had that remapped now is that part of the reason why the DPF is now blocking up? He's had it remapped so the, the AdBlue is switched off. Um, now he's got a uh, DPF fault so it could be related. I think what I'm going to do is just activate a force regen and see what temperature we reach. I don't want to try and do a software update because that might, that might uh, remove his AdBlue delete that he's got on there. Uh, so, right, we need to switch the engine off. So just to be clear, like I'm saying, the fill level of the DPF is now back to 110%, or it's even a bit higher than it was when I first came here. But it, it the car hasn't asked, or uh, to do a regen. It hasn't, it hasn't tried to do to set off a regeneration, which is a bit concerning. But um, maybe it needs a longer test drive, or maybe it just something within the remap that's that's been done has it now inhibited the car from doing a regen unfortunately it doesn't look like there's going to be a, any way i can know for sure on that without um only other thing i can do is try and do a force regeneration and see does that force regeneration reach the temperature required okay the regen is now active let's keep an eye on these temperatures and we'll go for a drive so I can see here on our test drive we've got all of the conditions right but the temperature of the DPF is still not reaching above 200 degrees. Here we can see the DPF is just not regenerating, it doesn't want to activate. Okay so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to solve the issue on this. So like I said I've had multiple customers call me with the same issue that this guy's got saying they've had the DPF replaced, they've had the DPF uh, cleaned multiple times, they've had forced regens done but the car still goes back into the limp mode uh, after a certain, or the light comes back on uh, after a certain amount of time and I've I've had some customers call me and say look we know what, it's, what the issue is it's just not reaching temperature and I've physically seen this car and another one not be able to reach temperature but what, what both of these cars had in common is they've had AdBlue remaps so I'm gonna say that's the issue um, but I'm going to rely on some of my subscribers here, the commenters, to feel free to comment on what you think the, the issue would be here. Um, or, even better, if you've had one of these cars with the same problem and you've had someone resolve it or you've had some sort of resolution to the issue, apart from remapping it out, uh, we know that can, that can resolve it, but 
I'm talking about getting the system back working. Um, what was the solution? If someone's had a solution to it, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll leave it at that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I mean, you could probably say there's more tests I could have done. I've, I've looked through these through one of these before and there's nothing I could see. I've had a look through all of the live data on this car. Everything is where it should be from what I can see. There's nothing that's inhibiting a self regeneration to a passive regeneration to uh, to happen. So why is it not happening? The only thing I can say is that the ECU is just not telling it to do that. What why that is, I'm not sure. I'm not a I'm not a, a tech person when it comes to software. So I'll have to maybe send that to one of my friends who does ECU remapping. Uh, get him to have a look at it um, but if, if I find a resolution in the meantime I will post it in the comments and if anyone else has had a resolution like I said post it in the comments here and I'll see you on the next video